Hey guys, what is up? I hope everybody has been having an awesome day. We are here at Trump National Jupiter doing an 18 hole golf vlog, probably split it up into two parts of nine holes each. So if you guys are excited to watch this video, please be sure to click that like button, subscribe if you're new. I do love entertaining you guys and I love seeing this community grow. So on to our first hole, 374 yard par four. Probably gonna hit something just short of that tree on the left, leave myself about 100 yards and so let's get off to a good start. All right, so just a little bit short and right of this bunker, have 117 yards, pin is directly behind that tree trunk. So I'm gonna go ahead with a 56, try to loft it in the air, use the tailwind, and we'll see if we can hit it close. All right, guys, so that was, you know, not the best putt, but I'm still trying to get my pace on these greens. So on hole two, pretty sizable par five. Let's see out there, about 580 yards. And uh, yeah, gonna be ripping driver, probably right on that line right there. And uh, see if we can give ourselves a look at driving this green in two, or I guess hitting this green in two. Okay, we'll hit a really solid drive here. Have about 215 left, pins on the right side. So this is a very treacherous course. I've heard, this is my first time playing Trump Jupiter. I've heard it's extremely difficult. So definitely something to keep in mind as I'm playing here. So about 215, wind off, wind off the right. Probably gonna hit a hold off six iron, see if we can get it on the green. All right, so definitely not a great shot. Flurry that way to the right, but I do still have a shot towards the green. So I have not been practicing that much to be honest with you guys, I've been in long dry season. So definitely something to keep in mind. Um, but I'm gonna do my best to put up a solid number for you guys. So from here, I'm probably gonna have to play a little bit to the left to avoid that tree. So I'm gonna take a 60 and just try to bump it right up in that area, give myself a decent look at birdie. All right, well, that was a really bad first chip and then a really good second chip. And that's kind of a nice lesson. You're gonna hit terrible shots. And I hit two garbage shots in a row and all it took was one good shot at the right time to get my par. So that's something to keep in mind. You're gonna hit bad shots. It's about how you react to them. It's not about if you have them or not. So on hole three, 400 yard, par four. See that pop bunker out there? That's where I'm going to be aiming for with a three iron. Should give me probably just a little over 100 yards left, and we can really attack the screen.
All right, so a pretty solid shot here. The pop bunker's right there. Leaked it a little right, but got away with it. That's the pin right there. Have 133 yards left. A um, bit of a helping wind, I feel like, off the left. So probably gonna go with the 52 degree wedge. Try to get this airborne a little bit and hold the green. So let's see if we can hit it close. Well, here's where my ball ended up, just on that corner. Had the right yard, just pulled it a little left. Thought that wind would help it a little more than it did. But um, also, I would say a good realistic goal for this round would be if I can break 75 from the tips, I'd be extremely happy with that. So that's kind of the goal, and anything close to par would be awesome. So we'll be shooting for as good a score as we can get, but that is definitely a score I'd be happy with. So looks like we're going to have a putt that's fairly quick and i want to say it's kind of straight but we'll see it's another ho-hum four there would have liked to give that a, a bit of a better run, but not upset about it. On hole four, 215 yards. Pins in the left center of the green right there. So I'm gonna hit an eight iron because I have a bit of a helping wind. See if we can get this on the green. All right, so just a little bit to the right here, but that was the right play. That would have been just under the pin. So have a little bit of green to work with, pins on that shelf. So I'm gonna go ahead with a six degree wedge and just bump it up there. See if we can give ourselves a look at a par. All right, guys, well, that was just a hard hole. I completely missed that shelf. That was actually very close to the chip I wanted to hit. And then I saw a little too late that there was a massive shelf right by the hole. So hit two, a good I, a chip I wanted to hit and hit the putt I wanted to hit, and that's just going to happen sometimes. This is a tough par three, so tough course. But uh, on hole five, see if we can get one get back. All right, guys, well, on hole five, 451-yard par four, and yes, that is as tight as it looks. So I'm going to be trying to hit it right up that chute with the driver and give myself a look at hitting the screen in regulation, making birdie. All right, guys, why well, push this one to the limit? Right at the edge of the um, swamp there. I have 104 yards left, hit this one really good. So I'm gonna hit it 54, it is a little bit windy, so I'm gonna try to fly it under that wind, hit it close. All right, so a really solid shot here. Have about 10, 12 feet left. See my pitch mark right there. So held nicely, exactly what I wanted. So I'll have about 12 feet left and this is a very tough par four. So definitely happy with how I played this hole so far. Let's see if I can take advantage. 
All right, so that was definitely a disappointing putt, to say the least. But uh, I got to be honest with you guys, when my long drive training starts ramping up, that is the first to go. So um, just got to keep working on it, keep staying steady, and uh, see if we can get it back on the next hole. All right, guys, so you will notice there are no tees on this uh, tee box. This is the special 630 yard tee markers. So I'm gonna be letting it rip the driver here. I have a very, very tight shoot here to say the least. So gotta hit it straight. All right, so I hit that one really well, just snuck it around the bunker, got a pretty good kick. It landed like right around there and funneled down. So have 266, so that's about 370 yard drive. You can see the pin just over that bunker. So we're going with the four iron, a little help from the right with the wind, see if we can get it on the green. All right, so pin high, pretty solid shot, just a little bit right. Can definitely get up and down. Um, gonna take a 60 degree wedge, just try to fly it just onto that green. A, this is a pretty simple chip shot, so, but I'm never gonna let my guard down. So we'll see if we can get this up and down, maybe even chip it in. Well, it definitely feels nice to get one back there, but uh, no time for celebration because I have, I think, the hardest hole on the course, at least thus far. 245 yards and greens all the way back in that distance. I'm gonna hit a five iron, a bit into the wind, see if we can put it on the green. All right, so honestly, not that bad of a shot at all. Got myself a pretty easy chip shot up the hill. So a nice little leave here. And uh, that's a nice lesson. If you're gonna miss, always try to miss in a good spot, obviously. But uh, we'll see if we can hit this one close and make a really good three. All right, so that was an awesome, awesome three there. That was a tough, tough hole. I mean, now we're on hole eight, 440 yards. Gonna be just trying to smoke it right up the center with the driver, keep it a little bit low under the wind, get ourselves a good look of a wedge into the hole. All right, so it was really a great shot here. Not much left at all. In fact, let me just lazy this real fast. 94, pins right at the front. Very, very gettable. So trying to stuff this and give myself a really good look at a birdie. So 94, gonna go with probably a sawed off 50, 60 degree wedge. All right, so pretty good shot here. You can really see how much that green falls away down there. So landed it right there. Nice little shot. Got myself about a 12 footer for birdie. So I'll see if I can avenge that miss from a couple holes ago and roll one in.
Not gonna lie, I thought that 100% was missing to my left, but uh, ball hung on a lot more than I thought it would, so I'll take it. So that was an awesome three, really feeling good about that. Now in hole nine. All right guys, well on to hole number nine. 400 yards. I'm gonna send it at the green with the driver, probably come up just a little short, but we'll see how close we can get. Okay, well I will be the first to tell you, I did not know that that was all the way up there. So a little fortunate there, but I hit a really good drive. Got 87 yards left, bit of a headwind here. So I'm gonna go ahead with the sand wedge again, knock it down a bit and uh, try to get the stop. All right, guys, so pretty good shot here. Went a bit long, went, ended up on there and rolled back a little bit for me. So I definitely have something that's makeable. Probably about 15, 20 feet. So see if we can roll it in. All right, guys, well, that was a surprisingly good round for me. Felt like that was a pretty tight overall nine holes, so I'm pretty happy with that. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. Is, this was a beautiful course to play. Very difficult. So if you ever get a chance to play this, bring your A game. But, um, yeah, I hope you guys, if you did enjoy it, please be sure to subscribe to the channel if you're new and click the like button. And until next time, I hope you guys have a great day.